I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm sharing with you how to rototill your garden very quickly, even if you don't have access to any power tools whatsoever. It's a little buggy out here today, so I'm going to be putting on the hat with the bug net that will protect me from the sun and protect me from the, the bugs while I, I'm working. And the tool I'm going to be using primarily is just a shovel. Rototilling isn't always necessarily the best thing for soil, this garden bed. It's fairly new and I'm still kind of folding the different layers of uh, soil material into it. Um, so that's why I'm still kind of doing the, the full turnover method. But uh, you know, it wasn't terrible. And uh, the differences are that uh, as I was going through, I found a bunch of stones uh, because I was doing it manually. I was able to just easily stop, grab the stones, throw them out into our gravel driveway. Uh, so that was a benefit to doing it this way. I was able to save a spider. And the other thing that is a big difference between uh, you know, rototilling with the machine versus rototilling by hand is this. It's a lot more peaceful to do it. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's an extra benefit. In fact, I notice that a lot when I do uh, my yard when I'm cutting my grass with a push mower uh, that's a non-gas powered push mower. Uh, it's certainly not as easy as doing it with a gas mower but it's so much more pleasant and peaceful and you can even have a conversation with somebody next to you. You don't have to wear earplugs for hearing protection or anything like that. So there's always pros and there's cons to everything but doing this manually in this way because it's not an enormous garden it's not that big a deal. If I was going to do acres and acres of crop I might think this was a little bit more of a crazy approach to doing it but for the scale that I'm working at and the scale that I know many of you guys are working at just working with a shovel can make an awful lot of sense and financially even you don't have I buy the shovel once there's no moving parts. This thing is likely to last the rest of my life because I bought a high quality shovel. That's not the same uh, as is the case with a rototiller. You buy that and it's got parts that wear out and needs constant maintenance and gasoline and all that kind of stuff. So there's all sorts of savings, pros and cons on both sides of an equation. And just because you can do something with a machine doesn't mean that's necessarily the best way to do it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, it's a great feeling to start your garden as soon as the soil can be worked, but sometimes you start it just a little too early and you got frost coming some evening. If you'd like to know how to protect your plants from frost, check out this video.